Hey, welcome to the channel. My name is Joe, where I help you make better coffee and give you honest reviews. Today, I want to show you my experience of going to the SCA Expo, also known as the Specialty Coffee Expo. Super fun time. I got to see a lot of really cool stuff. Before we jump into it, though, definitely like the video if you have a chance to and subscribe to the channel. It helps me out a lot. Uh, and if we hit 5K, we have very special things planned. So, uh, go ahead and uh, do that and then I want to show you my first kind of like walk through and uh, we went right to the flare uh, station so I want to show you a little bit of, of them pulling me a shot of espresso on the flare 58 and uh, and then I'll go through all the other videos. I just filled the brew chamber. There's a preheat which is what you guys were talking about. The interesting thing about this one as opposed to these is this is a valve so as soon as we lift the lever We'll have water pass through to the coffee bed. Yeah. But unlike these guys where you have to fill the chamber and then kind of race, you'll always have water contact with the coffee and pre yeah. infusion. This there's is no contact till you raise as up. Little as you want. Right. So you can just pull like a kind of a traditional style shot. Or you can do all the esoteric and progressive profiling that you'd like to. You can pull a one bar pre infusion to a seven bar shot you could pull a straight nine bar traditional yeah you could do a blooming shot where you uh, saturate the puck then and take then the pressure off let it dwell yeah. for 30 seconds and then pull a shot so nice. you're kind of uncoupled from any sort of limits with the system uh, and the workflow obviously is quicker than with the pro or the classic because you can just pull the porta yeah. filter it's already it hot out, re refill refill the chamber and you're ready to go yeah I actually, you, I think you guys like kind of made the that shower screen almost popular because yeah, yeah, we uh, we bought one like right after that. Yeah, we nice. love them. Even right. in our normal espresso machine, we use them. So that's the pass through. We're just pre infusing. You so can, you let it sit for mine. a little while. Was that you were like checking the temp or something? No, I was just talking. <laughs> oh, okay. So, so, too much. Yeah, <laughs> we're now we're uh, pulling at six bar. Yeah, the mirror is cool. Beautiful shot. Coming out nice. I didn't see any. It's still pulling a bit quick. Do you want me to take it a little bit further? Um, why? Where was it? Um, come on. And these are 20. What do you got on? What What grinder is this? Is that the. Uh... This is a Varia. Oh, a okay. Grinder. Yeah. We'll give this a try, but like I said, we're still dialing, so. That's all right. So. I get it. Yeah. I'm going to do, do a 20 gram thing. We've been playing with a lot of grinders, so... And it, we're doing the Monarch right now, is that what I heard? This is Monarch, yeah. Very nice. It's really changed from yesterday. We're in a range of grinding size, kind of exponentially different than we were yesterday, which is a bit confusing. But yeah. It's still super oh, that's... sour. Yep. But, yeah. That's not. I, it's not too sour. Right. I don't think it's too bad. No. It's better than the ones we were pulling a few minutes ago. Yeah. Uh, is this twenty? This, this one. Nice. Awesome. Hopefully, I get a little more body and a little more concentration. Like it, guys. Thanks again. No worries, man. Appreciate it. Next, uh, we went up to the Akaya uh, area where they're very famous for the lunar scale, but we got to see the uh, lunar micro. We also got to see the um, Orbit, and we also got to see their self-dosing coffee um, thing. It was pretty cool, but I really am excited for the Orbit. I think I might even buy one for myself to have in the house as my mainstay grinder, but we'll see uh, more reviews to come on that as they are very backward on that. So let's check that out. Yeah, I would love it. I only know the scales. You guys have grinders? So this is a bean doser. Okay. Oh, okay. Very yeah, cool. Yeah. So you can. This is on. It's on the. Uh, it, this is on the scale setting, but it has three different presets that you can program. And oh, and dose is your beans. Yeah. This one's the grinder here. She's demoing that right now. Nice. That's pretty cool, though. I like it. So the grinder. Oh, fed right there. Okay. Yeah. And you can also, if you see on that side, if you pair it with a lunar, you can turn it to a grind by weight. Grind by weight. weight. Beautiful. A, but as a, as a standalone, it's a single dose. 
Are these new? I feel like I don't think I've seen these before. Yeah. yeah. We released them at the end of last year. Nice. We're very limited. We're, they're, they're basically, uh, we're just doing a U.S. release initially because we want to make sure to provide support for these. Cool. Um, but yeah. How much do they run? That's not bad, especially grind by weight. Was that what's the what's the burr size? A 54, 64. Oh, that's pretty thin for 64. I'm it's impressive. <laughs> I like it. Cool. I love your tattoo. Thank you. It's my cat. Yeah. Yeah, in my fantasy. Lunar, obviously. That's. It's basically a high, like a lower, like you can't. It can only take up to 500 grams total, but it is the most accurate. Which wow. The lunar is only zero uh, point zero five. That's crazy. Yeah. It's cute too. You can throw it in your pocket. Yes. Next up is Meticulous. Meticulous was a super super cool espresso machine to see. I'm very excited for them to release their products. It looks like they're shooting for December. We'll see if they hit that deadline. Um, they have the Meticulous espresso machine, and then they have the Meticulous milk frothing system. I think uh, both are really uh, genuinely interesting products. I could see that the maybe having that meticulous milk frother would make having a Flare 58 on your countertop a very kind of unique uh, situation, or having them paired together is really nice too. It basically uses a hydraulic arm to press espresso instead of using pumps and things like that. So I'll let you check out, check out that. I got to interview the CEO, so there you go. And part of it, I think, is the most confusing part to me. Okay, so it has a, a, a bump heater. Actually, it's going to be in the video in a, in a minute. Once you've selected your profile and you press the button to, to start the, the, to pull the shot, it will start to heat it like that. It okay. Has a, a bump heater. Yeah. Um, so you pour water in, on, top of, it. on yeah. top of it and it just goes in, it heats it up. And I heard, I think I watched a video with you and Lance maybe or something like that, okay. that it was slow to start, but after you make like a couple of shots, it's a lot faster, the heating element, or not really? Uh, well, no, uh, actually, maybe it was because of the prototype that we sent oh, okay. to him. Uh, but yeah, it, it, I mean, you, you have to wait a little bit, it, depending on the, the temperature of water that you, that you pour in. If you pour hot or cold water, it's going to be faster or yeah. quicker, depending on. Okay. But so like if I put in, if I was, if I had a little brew kettle in there, set yeah, to 200 degrees Fahrenheit, you it, put it in there, it's yeah, pretty much it's good to go. Be very, very fast. But uh, if you put uh, room temperature water, it's going to be like three minutes. So it's not crazy long. Okay. But uh, yeah, it, it is. It is better if you pour hot pour water. hot water right in there, and then. And then the pressure, it's building off of, I'm assuming, like some type of plunger type a piston, system. Right, a yeah. piston, yeah. yeah. So is it using gears or how, how are you like? Uh, actually, uh, it's going to be right there, right now. Yeah, there is. A oh, it's hydraulic. Yeah, it's hy hydraulic. Very cool. Yeah. And then what's an integrated scale there? Yeah, this is the integrated scale, as you can see there in the weight. You can play around. So with this it. is, oh, I see it as you're, as you're tapping it, yeah. that's actively moving and this is bluetooth connected or technically it's wired in no uh this is wi-fi connected so oh, wi -Fi. actually this is the same model yeah uh, we just put a, a an ipad to illustrate the the either way you you'd like to use it but yeah. uh, you can use a computer uh, a tablet or cell phone anything that is connected to the same wi-fi so and you don't even to have to have it near the, the machine you can nice. be in your room uh, make your profile in your computer and then come to your kitchen and just press the button. Then you're good to go. I yeah. like. I mean, I love how thin this thing is. Do you see that? Do you, yeah, like, that's what I was looking at. Yeah, you it is. Like the, the pop card is in behind. Yeah. I hate when a coffee station looks messy. Yeah, this so that's is really nice that it comes straight out the back and that it's kind of like blocking. Like you can put this in front of a whole outlet Yeah, and we'll block all your mess. What's your shipping times right now? I know you're still in uh, Kickstarter uh, mode yeah, or Kickstarter, Indiegogo yeah, or whatever. I think we will be shipping the first batch in December this year. December? Nice. Very cool. Yeah, and I'm looking forward to it. I mean, this is basically like... Uh, Hey, welcome. As as controlled as you can get. If you like to meticulous. See it, uh, yeah. If, if you like to see it in action, we are making a demo right here. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. A hundred percent. I'd like to see. Yeah. You can get a, a free espresso if you like. For sure. Would love it. Thanks, man. Yeah.
Next up, I'm gonna show you the Eversys system. Eversys is a kind of all-in-one super automatic espresso machine, but it's definitely taking a book out of the traditional espresso making kind of uh, world. The downside with it is it's obviously not as fun to use, but I think for uh, commercial applications, it's gonna be very cool to see those out in the, the field. So if you are somebody that maybe is you know going through a Starbucks, you'll see something, obviously they have their own systems, but uh, a place where you don't need, wanna have like trained baristas, um, but wanna have like super high quality espresso. Uh, this is, I think a really cool system. So check out Eversys, I think it's interesting. So, it is. It is. Yeah. It's off right now, but you can set your temperature for. Oh, you can actually change it. Oh, interesting. Yeah, it's got a, a nice little heating mat, electronic well, you said that it's control. Off, I was like, yeah. This ain't very hot. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Makes sense. So it's off though. Here, That's we'll kind of nice. Latte steam. You'll hear it pulsing. That pulsing is the air injection, and now it stopped because it hit 90. And then does it purge itself or how do you, do you have to so do? It'll start flashing here to remind me to purge oh. if I don't. And then if I still don't purge, the whole screen will force me to purge before I can move on. Oh, very nice. Yeah. All right. I have terrible latte art skills. It's okay. We made a lot of phallic <laughs> symbols trying to make hearts. Oh, man. Yeah, that happens accidentally yeah. quite frequently. Let's see what you got here. Oh, that's pretty good. Though. You, I get bad. the I, I get the idea on the. Uh, yeah. It had nice texture. Yeah, for sure. Beautiful. All right. I love it. Yeah. Thank you. That thing's sweet. So, yeah. if a cafe want yeah, if a cafe wants this, what's it running for them? Um, retail price, depending upon configuration, somewhere between about eighteen to nineteen thousand. I was guessing twenty. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I yeah. mean, because you're. Not to say you don't need a trained barista, but you really don't need a yeah. trained barista here. Exactly. So your your overall overhead's down, and then on top of that, it seems like your dialing in process is almost automated, kind of. It is. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's, based it's on what you were showing me, you don't really need to go too crazy with that and adjusting and changing all the time. For sure. One of the things I didn't mention is on that dial in. Once you've dialed in the recipe that you want and you tell it to calibrate, then the machine itself runs an algorithm on an average of every five shots okay. and it'll automatically adjust. So if it needs to adjust dose, tamp, grind, whatever it is, the machine's watching just like a trained barista should be. Yeah, doing. yeah. In that average of every five, it doesn't make a knee jerk response because as we know, it's you never know, a good idea. Yeah, when you're dealing with especially with grinders and, and, and all yeah. that stuff, it it can wander a little bit. So it's averaging every five shots and a rolling making average smaller. and making smaller. Yeah, making a change. About two and a half pounds. Oh wow! Side. Yeah. Side. Yeah. You can see we're only about three percent plastic internally, which makes us infinitely rebuildable. Yeah. So if something fails, or if it's just time for your regular preventative maintenance, all of these are in here like kind of file boxes. There's five of them, and you just pull out the this, brew. Yeah. You slide in a already remanufactured or new brew, uh, and then you take that back to the shop, work on whatever needs to be worked on. Maybe it needs to be rebuilt, or there's a break fix. So you're down, it's definitely commercial grade, is what you're saying. Your downtime is 15 minutes. I can gut the entire machine and fully rebuild your machine in 15 minutes. That's pretty amazing. Yeah, it's, it's pretty incredible. And there's you want room to see the... for your hands in there because yeah. like the dogs yeah, use, a little bit. Like that apart to install like a PID. Even those are there's tight. There's like no room. Yeah, as soon as Brian's done here, we can we can so, pull out a module and you can see. Can take the time. Oh, and there's actually a pressure gauge in there. Oh, yeah. Huh. Yeah. It's, it's okay, so I went to the rocket uh, corner and I got to make a couple of shots of espresso. Did the, I believe the R58 and the R1S and that thing was freaking amazing. That it, you can save actual pressure profiles. I think that that is obviously like, you know, it's a crazy expensive $6,000, $7,000 machine, but the fact that you can save a pressure profile 
and just keep repeating it. It is super awesome. Uh, hopefully they make a bigger commercial style of that. Maybe they already do and I don't know about it, but if you had like, you know, I could see a two or three group version of that. If you're like a very, very professional uh, barista and want to really, you know, curate beverages that are special, I think that's a really cool way of doing it. So check this out. We're here at the rocket station. We're gonna make a quick shot of espresso, R58. This is cool. This is a dual boiler, yeah. Very nice. All right, let's see. I've never used one of these, uh, one of these here. So we're gonna find out. Double shot? I don't know how this works. Oh, here we go. There's a button. See if I could dump some of this off. I failed a little bit. It's all right. Camp station, beautiful. I think this is, yeah, I'm gonna say this looks like it's slightly too small there. Okay. Let's see here, what's gonna happen? Timer, I love the timer built in there. We got the pressure gauge there. Temperature. Oh, okay. It's more true like the actual lever machines. It gives you that kind of control. Something unique about it too is that it has the ability to save those manual profiles. So if you do something crazy like he just did like a really crazy just messing around profile, um, it'd be really hard to replicate that if you did it again. So this has a button that actually will save it. That's what setting this is. Okay, so I'm making a shot of espresso. Mm -hmm. Let's say I do a two, two bar pre-infusion, mm -hmm. 10 seconds, yeah. ramp it up to nine, bring yeah. it back down for the last like five seconds. Yeah. I hit the save button. I don't have to do anything the next time. Yeah. It'll just do it. Yep. Okay, that's pretty dope. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty sweet. Yeah. <laughs> There's also five other profiles in there that you can do that are like pre-done and you can edit and adjust. So it's a little bit easier if you're kind of trying to do something a little different and you want something more like regulated and uh, specialized, you can do in that. But yeah, definitely the coolest feature is being able to recreate that profile, that pressure. Profile. If you like, you can totally try dump it. Dump that and do another one. Yeah, uh, just leave it wherever you're. I'm okay, start cool. Picking up here. Sorry. No, don't be sorry. <laughs> uh, yeah, I definitely want to. Yeah, yeah, so. Totally. It's already dialed in for whatever... It was dialed in under pressure profile B, but really, it, that doesn't mean anything. Okay, that's <laughs> fine. Do that's fine. Do no, that's a that's to start the steam. Oh. So... Yeah. Um, so go ahead, this is our grinder. Yeah. And then uh, it's a touch screen here, so it's kind of... Just I heard you work for Seattle Coffee here. Yeah. yeah that's, that's cool. <laughs> Um, so I have it dialed in. This is going to dose about 20 grams. Okay. Oh, I think it's fine. Okay. I don't want to get coffee too too much everywhere, but. <laughs> it's, it's part of it. You know? Yeah. Coffee's a messy hobby, messy job. For sure. Yes, it is. It absolutely is. So... Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to pop. So if I pop this in, yeah. I start it by. So once you pop it in, I'll just go ahead and show you. So you and this is which it. model? This is the R1? R91. Yes. R91. Okay. So um, as soon as you move this paddle, it'll start to. Should I use? I shouldn't use this tiny Whichever one. Whatever cup you want, that's fine. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'll use yeah. this. So then. Um, so you hit the button. Um, you would start by the paddle. And as soon as you move the paddle, that's when the pressure comes on. There okay. is an option, say you're using one of the pre-done ones or after you save this. You could See do how that. these volumetrics? Oh, one then and it'll two. Be saved, yeah. So if I were to hit this, it would stop on its own. But for the manual, it's fully manual, so you'll stop it yourself until it's saved. Okay. Um, wait, so we're this one. Yeah. So okay, so I'm just going this way. Yes, correct. And then you can watch on here where the pressure is applied. Okay.
And there's a time, okay. Time and the volume as well. Okay, then we're gonna ramp it up hard. I'm gonna start to bring it on down. Oh, this is nice and responsive. It's so smooth. And that's off, right? Yeah. Or do I, okay, that's done. So now what we're gonna do is hit It's a save. little, little long maybe, but it's pretty good. It's for fun. You know. Yeah. And then. It smells good. Yeah. Try it out, see what you think, and then I wanna try it again. This is actually the first time I've actually done one back to back. Okay. Going through, so we'll go switch into the saved profile. Oh, so we just saved that profile, yeah, sweet. exactly, so now we'll be able to repeat it. Using Houndstooth Espresso Blend. Yeah. Never heard of that yeah. one, but. Where are they out of? Uh, Florida, I think. Oh, really? Yeah. Cool. Tastes good. Yeah, see, there you go. Yeah, this is pretty good. Uh, last thing I kind of want to show you guys is the, just two quick excerpts. So the first thing was a Eureka. Really wish I would have got more content with them, but I didn't record and we kind of, we just talked too much to get something like worth recording anyways. But I did get a quick excerpt of the Atom. Uh, 65 and 75, they are making a grind by weight version or they're trying to make a grind by weight version. Hopefully that comes soon and I will be able to review that because I already really like my Libra a lot uh, and I would like an even faster and better grinder. And then uh, after that, I stopped at Bellwether. They are a kind of all-in-one, uh, no venting needed uh, roasting system. So I could really imagine seeing some really cool stuff like that um, almost in a, you know, any coffee shop, maybe even in, you know, you could see those in a Giant Eagle or a Kroger or, you know, whatever grocery store you have locally. I could see one of those being there and you kind of curate your own coffee and roast it there. And then at the end of your gro grocery uh, ship trip, you can kind of pick it up, pick up your beans that have been freshly roasted. Uh, I will say the machine is gorgeous, so it's just cool to look at. It's very intriguing. And it kind of has this spinny, you know, mesmerizing uh, look to it. So check out those two videos. And um, that was it for SCA. I loved it. It was super fun. I really hope to go back next year. If you have any questions about it, definitely leave them in the comment section below. And uh, again, don't forget to like the video. Thanks. All right, so this is a prototype grind by weight atom. Throw it in and it will automatically grind. We're doing eight grams right there beautiful you pull it out grinds look beautiful nice very uniform not not many boulders very nice cool you're in ohio my son yeah. will be like ohio have you heard all of that like teenagers but never mind. oh no okay <laughs> oh hi yeah she's she's the camera wife ah cool she's got so, it she's got it yeah Oh yeah, she's the social media brains, isn't she? Yeah. Uh, you can use the chat. It's probably great water. Yeah. It's probably um, like mineralized. Wow, I'm seeing. supporting uh -huh. a local what, artisan. What, 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 I am, which I am you supporting <laughs> an industry that's trying to take that responsibility. Job, right? So yeah, it's a real... It's, it's a real... Uh, yeah, I see.